Whether you prefer a raspberry ripple or chocolate chip, ice cream is a sweet treat enjoyed by millions of people every day. Yes, ice cream, you scream. Everybody want ice cream. We Brits spend over a billion pounds on it each year. And one of the nation's favourites is Mackey's, made in Speyside. We've been here now for over 100 years. There's been five generations of Mackey's. Originally a dairy farm, Kirsten's dad founded the ice cream factory 30 years ago. I grew up here on the farm. I was born here. I spent um, quite a few summers actually milking the cows, getting up at 3 a.m. and so all really, really good fun. I mean, it couldn't be a better place for a kid to grow up than this. This family business now makes 10 million litres of ice cream a year. That's a whopping 100 million scoops. Talk about brain freeze. We started making ice cream because more and more people were buying semi-skimmed and skim milk and there was a huge amount of cream. And we thought, why not? Let's make a good quality ice cream. And from there, it's just gone from strength to strength. The farm buildings now house a state-of-the-art ice cream dairy and packaging plant. They churn out 10 different flavours, from Madagascan vanilla to mango and passion fruit. But the most important ingredient in each of them is fresh milk. It's a very special milk for us. Um, it's not many farmers that would be able to produce the type of milk we have for our ice cream. The milk comes from three different breeds of cattle. It's this combination that's claimed to make Mackey's ice cream extra creamy. We've got Frisians and we've got some Jerseys and we've got a special breed called Swedish Reds. And rather than being herded into a barn and milked twice a day, these clever cows choose their own schedule. We've got a really special way of milking. We've got an automated process, which we love, but more importantly, the cows absolutely love it. This high-tech robot milks the cows at their convenience. It's claimed to be less stressful for the cow, which means they'll produce more milk of a higher quality, which means even better ice cream. It allows the cow to milk 24 hours a day, as many times as she wants within the parameters that we've set, and they just have the freedom to go in whenever they want. It allows the udder, which is the working part of the cow, not to be swollen at any one time with milk, and it just keeps one of the stresses off the cow. A spinning brush first gives her undercarriage a good scrub, then a bank of lasers pinpoints each teat before a milking cup is attached. The robot tracks the quality and quantity of each cow's milk so the team can spot any health issues early on. I'd no longer have to milk in a parlour twice or three times a day. We don't have to push cows around into a parlour, which sometimes they don't want to go. Uh, and basically the cows milk themselves and we just actually look after the robot and look after the cow's husbandry. The herd produces up to 8,500 litres of milk a day, which is tanked up, ready for use in the dairy just next door. So we're now in the ice cream dairy, and this room is the processing room. So this is where we actually make the ice cream mix. And we've seen the cows being milked. The milk's stored in a big tank outside. And we take in the exact amount of milk that we need for each batch, comes up through this pipe, down, and then into the main mixing unit over here. The ice cream is a mixture of fresh milk from the dairy, cream, skim milk powder, and sugar. Cream and skim milk ensure a smooth, velvety texture, as well as a long shelf life. So the next part of the process is we're heating the milk and the cream to a really, really special set temperature for Mackey, and that's really critical to the Mackey taste. And once you get to this secret level, the sugar is added, which creates a perfect environment for the skim milk powders to be added and that creates a bit of a chemical reaction. Scientists call it the Maillard reaction. It happens as heat transforms protein and sugars to produce mouth-watering tastes and smells that are all but irresistible. And to get it right, timing is critical. It's really, 
really busy and it's so quick because we have all the various different ingredients that have to be added at specific temperatures very, very quickly. And each batch is done within 20 minutes. So it's really bang, 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 get it done. And each time done exactly the same. So we've got a consistent product day in, day out. And to keep up with production, staff must constantly ship in the ingredients. That's some bag of sugar. Each 2,500 litre mix uses 300 kilos of sugar and 120 kilos of milk powder. And that, when frozen, will make between four and 5,000 litres of ice cream. They come along this white pipe here and they're weighed and they're held up in a vessel. And at the exact second, right second, when the temperature's right, the weighed product falls into the vat and then it's vigorously mixed in with the heated milk and cream. It actually, yeah, it can fly off. But it can be quite dramatic when the skim milk powder comes into the air and uh, coming down into the vat. So we've got two different mixing vessels. Each one holds two and a half thousand litres and they take about 20, 25 minutes each. And we're continually running one up against the other all day. We sometimes do about 20 batches in a day. So now we've got the milk, the cream, the sugar, and the skim milk powder all completely mixed at a very, very special temperature. We then add some sugar syrup. And the reason we add some sugar syrup is to just get a very good scoopability to the ice cream. We're in this tank for about 20 minutes, and then when we're absolutely certain it's all completely mixed up, we then pass it through to this machine over here, and this is the pasteurizer. It's then very, very quickly passed through here within 30 seconds. The pasteurizer heats the mixture, removing bacteria to extend the ice cream's shelf life before it's fed into the homogenizer. And what the homogenizer is doing is it's breaking up all the fat globules to tiny little wee tiny globules and encapsulating them in the, in the proteins and that's giving a really, really creamy taste to, the, to Mackey's ice cream. The mixture is forced through a small opening at high pressure, causing the fat globules to break up, creating a thicker, creamier texture. The mix is then chilled at five degrees before it's pumped into the aging room. So this is the aging room. And this is where we let the, the mix sit, chilled, and it slowly agitates, and we leave it here for about a day. And when it's passed into these tanks, this is where we might add a flavoring. So we do have a product called Mackey's Indulgent Vanilla, and it's a Madagascan vanilla, and it is the real, it's the real McCoy. It's a vanilla essence made and brought in from, from Madagascar. Our second best seller is Honeycomb, and all that is, it's just Mackey's traditional ice cream with bits of honeycomb um, dispersed through it. And the honeycomb itself, we make that here on the farm as well. My favorite is actually the chocolate ice cream, and we also actually make chocolate, and we use our own real chocolate to make Mackey's chocolate ice cream. Two scoops, please. But before it's ready to be tasted, the mixture needs freezing. This is where we take the ice cream mix from the aging tank, which is through the other side of that wall, and it comes along this pipe here, and it goes into one of the ice cream freezers. We've got six ice cream freezers. The mix goes in, and each of these machines can process 1,100 litres of ice cream in an hour. The mix is going in at sort of about plus five and it's coming out roughly about minus five degrees and it's incorporating a little bit of air so that you can scoop the ice cream. As you can see all the pipes are all frosted over so it's then passed through these pipes goes all the way along here and it goes right along there to where it's deposited into the tub and lidded. Well this part of the process is really exciting because this is the part where the ice cream is actually deposited into the tub. And as you say, there's quite, it's all quite exciting, there's lots of people, it's a bit like a ballet 
and everything has to come together right at the exact time so that the icing can get into the pot and then it's lidded and then it's passed through for further cooling. This ballet in rubber boots can make up to 75,000 tubs a day using packaging made in-house. Our packaging, the tubs and the lids, we actually make them ourselves here on the farm. And we buy in the labels and we've got this moulding machine and the labels get passed onto the, onto the, the mould itself. And this is great for us because it makes much more flexibility and it means that we can actually launch new flavours and do limited editions and we can do much smaller runs. The tubs then complete their factory journey by being sent to bulk packaging, where they're packed and stacked onto pallets, over 850 of them at a time. So this is a, a cold store. It's really cold in here. It's like minus 27. We keep the ice cream in here for a minimum of three days just to get it right down to temperature before the ice cream can then be dispatched to go to off to the di different supermarkets. So we have about half a million tubs in here. Quite enough ice cream to keep us going for a wee while. It is really cold. You really don't want us to be spending much time in here. Can you imagine? It's minus 27. In fact, I really need to get out of here. The ice cream is then ready to be shipped to ice cream parlours and supermarkets around the country. It's a far cry from the farm's humble beginnings. I think mum and dad would be really, really pleased to see the business growing with the family and the next generation coming on and doing the same. You know what, Kirsten? I think so too. <laughs>